us, agroecology, you know, is a movement that uses uh, the ecological processes in a positive way uh, to help production being more efficient and, of course, being more environmental friendly. And so it means that you make a different science for that. You mobilize, you know, advisors to the farmers and uh, farmers' organizations. And then you try to think and to give uh, advice to the policy makers so that they adopt a policy that allows farmers to make the transition. Because, of course, when you make a transition, it's always risky. And so, uh, well, you need to help them to take the risk to go to agroecology. And on the scientific side of it, I mean, it, it, it is quite a modern approach as it gathers ecologists and agronomists, you know, to look at new things, things we couldn't look at before, as the soil, microorganism, and the big cycles, and, uh, well, water uh, quality, uh, all questions we, we didn't look at from those two points of view at the same time. So it's a really a new scientific approach that is very attractive for young people. It is new practices for the farmers, but it's a risk for them to change their practices. So they need you know, the advisors to help them and they need the policies to help them making the transition. So in fact, at the European level, you have CAP and CAP wants to help the transition to productive and sustainable farming. And so, you know, we can't find within the European tools, tools to help this transition at a national level. Thank you.